Hey, welcome to TC Disc Golf and the Disc Golf Review for the Wild Disc Sea Otter. The Wild Disc Sea Otter is one of three new discs that they came out with in early 2022. Uh, it comes in two plastics, a premium plastic, which is lava, and a landslide plastic, which is what they call their base plastic. It isn't super deep, but it is deeper than the Hummingbird, the other disc that they made. While the lava plastic has more flex to it, the landslide is definitely a little bit more firm. And as far as disc feels, it's actually a very nice feel. Uh, some have said that it kind of feels a little bit like a Discraft Luna. After taking it out to the field a little bit, this is my first throw. You can kind of see it just has a good natural flight. My body's in the way. Kind of figure that out, work on it some. And this is how it flies after some practice. And really does stay true to its numbers. Has a little bit of glide, but um, a dependable fade, which is enough to be forgiving. And so I took it out to the, the course, work on it some. And just it's a good throwing putter it's really what i needed to fit that slot in my bag a putter that i could throw um, off the tee on shorter holes or even use it to make up the distance on um, some baskets and it does fly straight with a good dependable finish i will say that um, of the two plastics, that lava plastic, you see me throwing it more just because I feel like the lava plastic um, does have a little bit better wind control to it. But ultimately, they both fly very, very good. And this is a throw that kind of shows us like I can even flex this disc out with a slight bit of Anheuser and just really get some good distance on it. And you kind of see me doing this one step throw here, just working on improving my timing from my plant. Just that really good flex out of it. And part to that one. Uh, another good thing to kind of keep in mind is like, while the, some discs have a little bit more glide, this one for the approach um, does end up dying down, which is nice because when you're trying to approach, uh, you don't want it to skip too much past the basket, so this one just kind of settles nice. Even here where I end up hitting the tree a little bit. But all in all, really good disc for, for throwing and then those approaches. I haven't putted with it much, but the little bit that I have, it actually putts very nicely. I will say uh, that it does have definitely have a little bit less glide than, say, like a hummingbird. And here's some throws where I made mistakes because what would a beginner throwing a new disc do except for make some mistakes on those throws? And you can kind of see here. This is this throw right here. The disc is a little bit forgiving because I end up being off my line when I release this. And the disc has is stable enough to give me a little bit of forgiveness there. So something I really wanted to show in all these videos is what does it look like not only when I throw really well, but I also wanted to show you a couple of throws of what does it look like when you make a mistake with this disc. And I would say for a beginner, one of the two things that I really look for is I look for predictability. Do I know what this disc is going to do? And then the second thing that I look for is forgiveness. Can I throw something that would be considered a bad shot off my line? And will the disc correct? Now there is such thing as getting discs and they're usually so overstable that they overcorrect. And that ends up, I feel like in the long term, hindering game and improvement. But I feel like this disc has just enough forgiveness to be exactly what a beginner needs for a throwing putter. And then also be predictable. And so I can use it for pro shots and for throwing and I've struggled to find a putter that can do that. A putter that I can take, pull out of my bag, know when I throw it, it feels good out of the hand, 
and that it's going to go about where I want it to. It's going to stay straight. It's not going to turn over because I'll be honest is my natural release is a little bit um, more Anheuser if I'm going to make a mistake and you see that happen in, in one of those throws. I throw it so much Anheuser that the disc does does keep following that line. But the idea being that like even when I do make that Anheuser mistake, if it's not completely a mistake, the disc is, is stable enough that it kind of gently corrects it. It'll take a little bit of the line and then finish out. Um, but yeah, I think that this disc fits a spot in my bag that I've been struggling to find, that throwing putter, and really um, knowing that wild disc in the future, this is going to be the putter that from what I know, the hummingbird isn't being made anymore. That this disc I've actually putted with a few times, it could, in my mind, become the putting putter too. I just know that for me, I really appreciated um, from the hummingbird, which is um, wow, this first disc being able to putt from far away and like that glide kind of taking over. So it take a little bit for me to adjust having slightly less glide and just a little bit more fade. But the little bit that I have putted with it, I was, I was really pleased with it and it wasn't too different. So wild disc, sea otter, good disc. All in all, I give it a nine out of 10, just a really good disc.